Maybe I'm biased towards MacBooks due to my close relationship with Tim, but I've never really been tempted to switch to the dark side until I got my hands on this Windows laptop. This is the 2021 Legion 7 Gen 6 with a Ryzen 5900HX CPU and RTX 3080 GPU. Now, I featured it in a couple of videos already, including a comparison with the 16-inch M1 Max MacBook Pro, so I thought I'd dedicate this video to the Legion specifically, and why I think it's one of the best laptops you can buy right now. Now, I get it, I make YouTube videos, my budget and also my needs are gonna be quite different from probably the average person out there, so to take that into consideration, I'm gonna take off my YouTuber hat and get to work. Okay, let's start with the price. If you're a little strategic with your purchase decision and you time it perfectly, you can save a ton of money on Windows laptops. Did you hear that? That was the sound of your remaining kidney breathing a sigh of relief. Now, my strategy is pretty simple. I purchased the previous version of the laptop, brand new from the manufacturer, when the price drops after the most recent version is announced or released. So even though you're now getting an outdated spec, it's still really powerful hardware that was only released about one year ago. And the savings are phenomenal. Typically, there will be sales to get rid of the previous gen stock, so you can save up to 40%. Currently, you can grab this Legion 7 Gen 6 for about $2,000 US dollars brand new. And compared to the latest Ryzen or even 12th Gen Intel CPUs, there's minimal difference for most of my workflows and even more so for the GPU. The 3080 and the 3080 Ti perform very similarly. Now, moving on to the chassis, this thing is a bit of a chungus, although to be quite honest, it's really not that much different from most of the other gaming laptops out there. Yeah, she's thick, especially compared to my MacBook, but it still fits in my bag relatively easily. I also like the minimal dark gray color scheme and the RGB lighting is per key and is also around the edge of the chassis. Does it look like a unicorn with diarrhea? Yes, but the great thing about RGB lighting is you can switch it off easily if you don't like it. And when the RGB is turned off, I think this laptop could actually fit into a corporate office environment fairly well, if that's important to you. Now, the keyboard layout took a little bit of getting used to, but I enjoyed the typing experience and the key travel. It also has a large glass precision touchpad that is responsive and doesn't flex too much, unlike a lot of other Windows laptops I've used. Although strangely, I did notice that the screen doesn't clamp very hard against the bottom chassis when the laptop is closed. Probably not an issue, it just feels a bit weird when carrying it around. Now for cooling, the hot air is exhausted out the back and side vents, and if we flip this bad boy over, you can see the cold air intake on the bottom. Inside there's a vapor chamber, and it's as effective as it looks, but more on that later. While we're inside the chassis, you can actually upgrade the RAM, the Wi-Fi 6 card, and there are two different NVMe SSD slots for upgrading or adding more storage. So that's a big thumbs up for upgradability. Now, moving on to ports, this Legion is running an AMD chip and not an Intel one, so you won't get Thunderbolt, but in terms of port selection, it's still really, really impressive. Two of the USB-C ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort 1.4. One is located on the left side and the other is on the back. The one on the back also allows you to charge via USB-C, but of course, at a much slower rate. Also, yes, that is a webcam on-off switch. What I really like about the Legion, though, is the location of the ports. All the major ones are at the back, and this makes the Legion extremely neat and streamlined when you've got a ton of stuff plugged in. And the port icons even light up, so you can easily plug stuff in when the laptop is sitting in front of you. Now, seeing as the RTX 3080 inside this beast is able to suck up to 165 watts of power, the 300 watt power brick is understandably gonna be pretty big. But damn, this thing is so big that it looks like it's just finished shooting an episode of My 600 Pound Life. I mean, seriously, like it's almost as big as my head. And once you stuff this into your bag alongside the laptop, it really starts to weigh a lot and take up a lot of room. Now, let's also talk about the screen on this laptop because in my opinion, this is one of the best features. Now, it's a 16 inch 16 by 10 aspect ratio panel with a very respectable refresh rate of 165 hertz. 
In my opinion, there aren't enough 16 by 10 gaming laptops out there. And although that aspect ratio might cause some odd performance issues in some games, it's great for web browsing and productivity. Don't forget you can switch to a 16 by nine aspect ratio, but you might get some stretching or some black bars in game. Now, the panel is technically a 1600p panel, which is much more pixel dense than 1080p, but not quite as demanding as a 4K resolution. In my opinion, 1440p or 1600p in this case is the most optimal for gaming laptops. It's not super hard to push games in and also gives you a nice image quality when doing other tasks. But the cherry on top is how bright it gets. This screen can push out over 500 nits of brightness, and it's a welcome change from other gaming laptops like the Razer Blade 14, for example, which is really dim in comparison. Plus, the screen can tilt the full 180 degrees back, so if you're someone who likes to use the laptop on your lap, this is perfect. Color accuracy is also pretty good too, but you probably don't wanna be doing any kind of proper color or design work on it. Response time is also very impressive with eight milliseconds as standard, but this can be improved to four milliseconds by turning the overdrive setting on in the Legion Vantage software. So how's the overall gaming experience on this beast? I mean, that's probably the main reason why you've bought a high-end PC laptop like this to play games, right? In short, it's pretty good. Firstly, yes, you can disable Optimus if you want via a MUX switch. So when connecting to an external monitor, you'll get G-Sync and a slight FPS boost of between 10 to 15%, depending of course on the game. Now I'm not gonna go into detail and bore you with all the FPS graphs and benchmarks because the most important thing is how is the overall gaming experience? So I went out and tested some popular games at the native 1600p resolution of the screen. And don't forget, this is a max wattage laptop RTX 3080 at 165 watts. I was able to get a consistent 100 FPS on Call of Duty Warzone at max settings, and performance was even better when changing some of these settings to medium or high. Battlefield 5 performed similarly, getting over 110 FPS at max settings and over 140 on medium settings. Twitch shooters like Rainbow Six Siege were hitting a consistent FPS of over 200 on ultra settings, and even really demanding games like Microsoft Flight Simulator could be run at around 45 FPS when selecting high-end settings. So the most important takeaway from this section is, no matter what AAA game you throw at this machine, you're gonna get pretty respectable FPS. So if you dial those settings back to medium or high, you can probably saturate that 165 Hertz refresh rate relatively easily. And if you do have a really demanding game, you can also drop that resolution back to 1080p and squeeze even more performance out of that 3080. Now during gaming, the fans do of course get loud. I mean, this is a gaming PC. And this and the performance can be adjusted using the different modes the Legion software offers. But I found that they didn't really make a huge difference. Remember that vapor chamber I mentioned before? Well, it does a good job at keeping the RTX 3080 pretty cool. I rarely saw temperatures above 75 degrees. And if you wanna see how the Legion performs in other tasks like video editing, 3D modeling, After Effects, and also how it stacks up against an M1 Max MacBook Pro, check out this detailed performance comparison I made a while ago. I'll link it in the top right hand corner and in the description. So how is the overall experience of using the Legion day to day? Honestly, it's a pretty solid laptop. I mean, yeah, it doesn't have the best battery life, no Windows PCs do, but the fact that it's such a good all rounder, you know, you get awesome gaming performance, uh, you know, if you do video editing or After Effects, it, it smashes those out of the park. You get an awesome, awesome screen. And the color scheme as well is just super minimal. I mean, this is gonna fit in basically any environment. If you're a college student in a lecture, uh, if you're in a meeting with corporate big wigs at work, for example, it doesn't look too gamery. It doesn't look, uh, you know, racery or anything like that. It just looks like a normal basic laptop. And out of all the other Windows laptops I've used in the last year, including some RTX 3060, 70, and 80 PCs, this has been the most solid performer. It's just, as I said before, such a good all-rounder that I really don't regret my purchase. And I really am considering switching out my M1 Max MacBook Pro for this. But apart from that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.